Once again, we have a Netflix film on the agenda. This time around, we have The Open House, which is supposed to be a horror, thriller kind of movie, but it's really kind of neither. Honestly, guys, I thought this movie was pretty terrible. I mean, just getting that right off the bat. I mean, Netflix really let me down with this one. I like to think of myself as a pretty big horror fan. I watch a bunch of horror movies, but this was such a waste of my time because this film was so boring for the most part, and it's not scary or thrilling. So I don't know where you really, why you even call it either of those. It does start out okay setting up the setting for why they're at this open house in the middle of nowhere. But then after that, like, the movie is just so boring. And, like, there's nothing entertaining about this movie whatsoever. And with this being classified as a horror movie, like, 90% of the scares in this movie are just really stupid, poorly executed jump scares that pretty much nobody would get scared by because they're so stupid. And most of these are relegated to the neighbors that they have that pretty much are pointless. They're just kind of just there to just have other people in the cast. Because they have, like, a couple scenes where they try to act all creepy and they go, like, absolutely nowhere, and they were really pointless. Especially the female in the, f in the film. I forget her name. She's very forgettable. I don't even know if she had a name. But she was probably the worst of the whole, like, supporting cast, because she was just so annoying, and she just kept popping up in the film. And all the stuff with her story goes completely nowhere, just like everything else in this movie, especially the killer in this movie. The killer in this movie was the, probably the worst part. Okay, because, sure, a killer stalking people in an isolated setting, you know, can be creepy. Actually, Netflix has already done this before. It's a movie called Hush. I highly recommend you see that instead of this film. There's literally no reason why he's stalking them at all. They never give a reason. They never even show what he looks like. I mean, I actually went frame by frame to see him in the, you know, as the movie went on. And you can kind of see what he looks like. But otherwise, they, you don't see him at all. And besides the killer being completely pointless in this movie, uh, pretty much everybody in this film is very unlikable. Like, Dylan Minnette and the actress that plays his mother, like, do their best with the material they're given, I suppose, because they have some okay chemistry. Just so much time is dedicated to them just bickering, like, for most of the movie. You forget it's even a horror movie, honestly, most of the time. And the movie's only, like, 90 minutes long, and it feels probably about, like, double that length because of how boring it is. Which isn't good, especially for, like, a horror movie that's supposed to be thrilling, obviously. One of the other things that stuck out to me that I thought was kind of stupid is there's so many scenes in this film dedicated to Dylan Minnette's character just running, trying to beat his fastest clock, like, 40 time, I guess. I don't know if he's, like, preparing for the draft or something. But, like, I figured it would play into, okay, he's practicing running really fast. Maybe he'll use it to run fast in the, you know, altercation with the killer later on in the movie. I mean, he does run away from the killer, but there's some caveats that I'm not going to go into. Spoilery, although I don't want you to see this movie anyways. I really think one of the worst things about this film, though, is just the ending. Because it's not satisfying whatsoever in any you know, shape or form. And I, it's almost like they had the audacity to leave it open-ended thinking they were going to get a sequel. Which I hope that the, to God they're not going to do. Especially with the reaction this film's gonna get, probably. Anyways, moving on to my score for the film, I'd have to give The Open House an F. I really just did not like this movie at all. Like, there's pretty much nothing I liked about it. I definitely don't recommend it. I mean, there's other things you can do, you know, not for 90 minutes. That's probably much more enjoyable. You know, if you're gonna watch a horror movie that's in, like, the same kind of vein, watch Hush. Much better film, you know. Much better horror film, especially. There's It actually is somewhat more, you know, scary. Uh, but yeah... Don't see this film. But yeah, uh, thanks for checking out my review, though. Uh, feel free to leave a like. Uh, comment your thoughts on the film, you know, whether you liked it, disliked it. You know, all comments are good. Uh, hit that subscribe button. Uh, until the next time, I'll see you guys later.